right out of the gate here at 6 o'clock. We're continuing to follow breaking news out of St. Charles County. This is video that Powerhouse Sky Zoom 4 is only able to bring you tonight. A man leading officers on a chase on road, off road, and eventually, as you see here, into a field. And just before 5 o'clock, it ended in that field with the man getting out, pointing a gun at officers, and then police shot him. News 4 gathering new information right now. Our Kim St. Ange is live on the ground in St. Charles County with what we know. Kim? I want to show you exactly where this chase ended just within the last hour. Take a look. It's in the middle of this field. If you look in the distance, you see those flashing lights. You might be able to spot some officers. The car is deep into that. So really, from our vantage point, you're only even able to see the roof of the vehicle. That is where the guy got out of the car, vehicle says, and was shooting at police. Again, this is in the West Alton place. We know two officers shot back hitting him at this hour. We're hearing he is in critical condition at the hospital. I want to back up here and give you some perspective on how this all started. It was around four o'clock this afternoon. Police say they were called to a home near Highway H and 94, which is about five or so miles away from where we are. That call was about an attempted home burglary in progress. The police chief for St. Charles County says the homeowner actually confronted the man and at one point they exchanged gunshots. Investigators then spotted the suspect's car on their way to that home, but the driver wouldn't stop. We know there was also a woman in the vehicle with him. Video you're seeing now from SkyZoom 4 shows at one point the man was even waving his gun at other drivers, even shooting at police while driving on 94, refusing to stop. Even at one point had four flat tires, but kept going. Police also telling us that he was on the phone with police while driving and making threats. He said uh, lives will be lost if you don't back off. And uh, our officers uh, gave him a little bit of space, attempted to negotiate with them while the pursuit was going on. Uh, there were some cell phone connectivity issues, uh, so it was in and out. And then uh, once he turned off into this area, he ended up in the, uh, the farmer's field here, got bogged down. He, uh, he jumped out of the vehicle, ran to the front of the vehicle, shot at our officers, our officers returned fire. All right, so you're seeing video now from Sky Zoom 4. Again, this is the vehicle where that chase ended in the middle of a field in West Alton. Police cars now surrounding that vehicle. Both people now are in custody. The woman, the passenger of that vehicle, is getting checked out. We're told that she was not shot. At this hour, though, we are still working to figure out the connection between the driver and the woman who was the passenger. The good news is I can tell you no officers, nobody else who was driving, who had the gun pointed at him when they were driving, none of them were injured. We're also told that the homeowner who was exchanging gunshots with this driver was also not injured. Live in West Alton, Kim St. Ange, News 4. Very tense moments. Mm -hmm. All right, Kim, thank you. On to our coronavirus coverage this afternoon. We are looking live at Bush Stadium. We are just learning.